to a degree feels like an AK-47 and AMAX had a baby. That's what it feels like. How? Oh, we'll go back to Bravo then. What's up, YouTube? What's up, YT? Team Red, what is going on? Before we get into today's video, I hope you guys are having a great day. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, comment below, give me a thumbs up, and share the video if you enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think, and be sure to follow me over on Spotify. I release new music all the time at Joseph Corey. Let's dive right into this gun that we're talking about today, and that is the AK-74U or the Castov 74U. This is a great gun. However, it doesn't quite have the range. I feel like this is more like a modified AMAX for this version of Warzone. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up for TDM, Team Deathmatch, or your kind of smaller multiplayer, or your Warzone slash DMZ. There's two specific ways to set the gun up, and I'm going to show you right now. Let's get right into it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace and love for you. Be sure to stop into some of the live streams. We'll catch you on the flip side. Let's get right into it. Peace. I'm out of here. Let's go. Okay, so here is the Castov 74U. This is your Warzone setup. First up, VLK. Best optic in the game, period. Next, we're going to go with the short 330. Don't be fooled and use the SA3 Ultra, as it does look between the two like they're nearly identical, but they're not. If you look at the SA Ultra, you'll see that it has aim down sight speed, movement speed, hip fire recoil control negative on the bullet velocity damage range and recoil control this one only has a negative on damage range which means it has better recoil control and better bullet velocity so out of the three barrels the only one you're going to get is the short tack 330 the other ones are not going to be as good i'll demonstrate them both and compare them for you in just a minute moving along the best muzzle is going to be the harbinger d20 it's going to have bullet velocity damage range smoothness sound suppression that is what you want you can see right there the specs how everything's going up and once you tune it it's going to get better we're going to update that once i max it out i'll probably just add it to this video so we're going to go ahead next Look at the 45 round mag. You could run the 20 if you're going to be running it for speed, but for Warzone DMZ, 45 round mag. And with the 45 round mag, that matches the AMAX of Warzone and Modern Warfare 1 from three years ago. This feels like very similar to AMAX because AMAX is a Soviet gun. It's based off Soviet technology. And to a degree, it feels like an AK-47 and an AMAX had a baby. That's what it feels like. Next, we're doing the pineapple grip. We're not going to run... The phase three grip that I like to run, even though the phase grip is better on almost every gun because it's equal to the FTAC Ripper, the FTAC Ripper is not available for this gun. It's going to be the pineapple. Let me show you why. I can go into the firing range. Now it's just everything's all set up. Watch how many bullets it takes to kill this guy down here. Oops. Okay, so that was 11 bullets, right? We'll do this two more times, at least two more times. 11 bullets, okay? Ready? 13 bullets. Twelve bullets. You can usually keep around ten to twelve at this range because the recoil is not the greatest. See, thirteen. 
So we're about 10 to 13, depending on how accurate we are. We go to the phase three grip. Okay, we go up same spot. And now we're at 16. Now we're at 18. Keep in mind, guys, the Castoff 74U is a variant of the AK 74U, AK 47. It's a more compact version. Feels like an A Max with more mobility. It's just not the RPK. It's not the full out AK 47. So the damage and range is not going to quite be there, but the speed will be. This loadout was for Warzone. It's definitely the most stability you're going to get for this gun. But now let's look at speed and how to set it up for multiplayer. First, we're getting rid of the optic. You do not need the optic at all. We're going to go to the SA Ultra 3 barrel. We're gonna leave the uh, Harbinger D20 on there. If you want a little bit more speed, you could do so, but this gun's so ridiculously fast, you're gonna need a little bit of range and damage and suppression, so definitely leave that on there. For the grip, we're gonna leave the pineapple grip on. I really like the pineapple grip, so I'm gonna leave that on there. We're gonna take the 45 round mag off. We're gonna go to rear grip, and we're gonna put the true tack grip, which is gonna give you sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. You could run the Coriolas 44 V3, which gives you aim down sight speed and aiming stability. Um, and some people might actually like that. And it gives you the regular iron sights and you have your ADS speed once again, increased. What I do like about the Canted Vibro.7 is you're getting the sprint to fire speed in addition to the aim down sight speed, but also aiming stability and it's Canted so you don't see the iron sights, you just see the green laser dot where you wanna shoot. So this laser's got a lot better recoil control and stabilization when shooting and it's better and easier to shoot with for the most part, unless you like iron sights, then I would go with the Corio Laz 44. Like, if you like iron sights, go with the 44 V3. Otherwise, that is the way I would set this gun up for team deathmatch or multiplayer. This is very quick. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We'll go to the firing range. Watch how fast this gun ADS is. And it's an assault rifle. It's very quick. You can just see how the movement speed, and it just puts you down really fast. That's how fast you get kills in multiplayer. That was a rough one right there. Yeah. You see how fast it is. And for the damage that it does, it is crazy. But let's go ahead and show you guys how to actually tune this gun for Team Deathmatch. Now with the canted laser, you could remove that and you could use a different laser, which would allow you to use the iron sights. But typically, this is how I like to run the cast up 74U. I will show you the tuning um, that I have for this. The only difference between how I have this set up or versus iron sights, I would just be removing the canted laser and putting on a tack laser, which uh, you know would allow me to change the setup a little bit, obviously, but it, the tuning really wouldn't change. Can't tune the canted laser anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and tune the grip. And the first thing I wanna do with this grip is it's for sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speeds. So we're gonna max that out. This way the grip is speeding everything up with the gun. What we're gonna do with the barrel here is we're gonna go full damage range, full recoil steadiness, because we already got some ADS speed and it's already a pretty fast gun as it is. And the laser, which can't be tuned, is giving us even more ADS and sprint to fire speed as it is, as well as aim walking speed. So we don't need to worry about that either. We want recoil steadiness. We go along to the Harbinger D20. We want bullet velocity instead of aiming idle stability since in team deathmatch, you're not gonna be ADSing very long. It's run and gun. Bullet velocity is key if you wanna land some longer shots. Now with the muzzle tuning, ADS speed or recoil smoothness. I'm going to recommend going full on recoil smoothness just because with the canted uh, laser, you're going to get a little bit of kickback with that. If you're going with iron sights and a 44 V3 laser for ADS speed, and you're going to be using iron sights, you can pull this back down to neutral because then you're going to get some of that ADS speed back. But the canted laser gives you ADS speed, so we don't need it, but it does increase the recoil. So we're going to do recoil smoothness to make up for it. So the difference is all recoil smoothness. If you have the canted laser, if you're running uh, like a tack laser, which is the 44 V3, you can go center or down more towards ADS speed. It'll work out very well for you. On the phase three grip, we're going to run more recoil stabilization and probably want to leave this in the center 
This way, we're going to have aim walking speed and aim idle stability equally. It's kind of up to you with ADS speed on this one, but when it's all the way at the top, the gun has practically no recoil, and it's still pretty quick. Let me show you the firing range. So you can see that even with 30 rounds, it does the, the business here. And you see how it's aiming down the sights. It's not going to be much faster by tuning the grip to all ADS speed. It's not much difference at all. It's just going to make it a lot more controllable. So you can see here, even if we increase the recoil steadiness on the grip and lose the ADS speed, it's not even much slower at all. But what it does is it allows me to almost take out that third target. We'll try that again. Now, if we leave and we remove the canted laser and we go ahead and put the LAS 44B3 on, Go back to the firing range. It's still pretty much the same thing. Let's land those headshots. So it's the same thing, just as good, but ADS speed's slightly slower, but not much. It's relatively the same thing. The big difference is, is that we're losing a little bit of the sprint to fire speed in the canted sights, but it still fires pretty quick. So you can run it both ways. And if you prefer to run this gun in ADS speed, where everything is ADS speed, instead of damage range, we can do that. Can totally do that. No problem. Go to firing range. Now it's about five to 10% faster. For me being on mouse and keyboard, it's not a problem. So it's gonna depend on your play style. I can handle the recoil, so I would play like that, but. How? High alert activated. Friendly UAV online. Dumped him. Reloading. Objective Bravo. Reloading. I'm reloading. Reloading. Throwing grenade. Should be ready for UAV as we go through. I'll TV at this time. Good cover. Shot. Reloading. Ridiculous. Stupid. Right outside, and you get him. Bravo is compromised. Securing objective Charlie. Enemy securing Bravo. Friendly counter UAV. I'm getting stitched up. Enemy down. Reload. Yeah, 
am, even though I haven't even fired my gun. Not happening, bud. Alpha. Oh, we'll go back to Bravo then. 